Hello everyone, this is Jason for Primetime Aquatics, and in this video I wanted to address aquarium lighting, especially if you're new to the aquarium hobby, picking out the right light for your fish tank can sometimes be a little bit confusing and a little bit tricky, and it can have a lot of implications on the way your tank looks. So we're going to talk about our favorite lights, we're going to talk about why it's important to choose the correct light, Hope you enjoy the video. So why is choosing the correct fish tank light so important? Well, there's a couple reasons why. One, you don't want to waste your money. Some fish tank lights can be very expensive and you want to make sure you're choosing the light that fits your needs. The second thing is choosing the right light may actually help you maintain your aquarium a little bit easier. If you've got a light that's way too bright and maybe you don't have a planted tank, that could potentially create a big algae problem later on. And so we want to try to avoid that. The third thing is reliability. The last thing you want to do is buy a light for your fish tank and then six months later or a year later have the thing break and now you're stuck having to buy another one. So we're going to take a look at four lights that we really like, talk about why we like them and why they might be a good fit for your aquarium. So one of the lights we're really not going to talk about in this video are the fluorescent lights and there's a couple reasons for that. One, we really don't use them in our fish room anymore. We've got a couple floating around the fish room in case of an emergency, but I don't like the fact that they're so bulky. They give off a decent amount of heat. They don't tend to last as long as the LED, so you have to replace those fluorescent bulbs. And I also don't like the fact that they tend to dim over time. And if you've got a planted tank, that can have an impact on your plants. So we're really just gonna be staying with the LEDs in this one. All right, so let's talk about some of the lights that we use based on our needs. I think if you're someone who's got a fish tank with no plants, or your plants are beginner plants, generally speaking, low to medium light plants, the beams work lights that we've been using more and more in our fish room are really good. And by the way, we've got reviews on all the lights that we're featuring in this video. I'll put them in the upper right hand corner as well as in the description below if you want a lot more information on them. I will also put Amazon affiliate links down in the description below in case you're interested in purchasing them. But the Beamsworks lights for us, we're, again, we're using them more and more because one, they are a budget friendly light. And so even just for a 12 inch light, you're looking at like $17 on Amazon. You want to go to a 24 inch, so something that's going to fit like a 20 gallon, that's like $33. And if you want to go a full 48 inches, like on a 55 or a 75, you're looking at like $47. So the cost is relatively low. And we found a couple things with these Beamsworks lights. One, they've been reliable for us, so we haven't had any break on us. And two, I like the color spectrum that they're producing. When you look at these tanks that have the Beamsworks lights, so for instance, our Cyprochromis tank, I like the light that's being produced. Joanna's side has got more and more of the Beamsworks lights, which we're going to show in future videos. We have one in our 29 gallon that's been working well, as well as some on our 10 gallon tanks. And all of these have given us a really nice spectrum of light. I like the color temperature of the light. And again, for the price, it's really hard to argue. So if you're looking for something that is going to be just for a beginner tank, you're not even sure if you're going to stay in the hobby, you don't have any plants or your plants are really easy to grow plants, this could be a really good option for you. The other cool thing about the lights is it has a place for an inline timer and also a lot of the lights you can actually make the switch, uh, flip the switch and now you get that night timer, that, that, that moon lighting where you've got kind of the blue light showing and so that's kind of a cool feature that a lot of people enjoy. All right, so the next light that I really like is something that you could consider especially if you're newer to the hobby are the Phoenix Stingray lights. The vast majority of lights that we have in our fish room, and we've got around 70 tanks at this point, I would say probably somewhere around 50 to 55 of them have the Phoenix Stingray lights. Now, many of them are the older Phoenix Stingrays, but we also looked at the Phoenix Stingray 2 in a previous video. Again, that's in the upper right-hand corner as well as in the description below. And on our Julie DeCromis tank, that is the light that's on that tank. And it's been just as good as the original Phoenix Stingrays, actually a little bit brighter. I think that there's one thing that maybe I wish that would be changed about that light is it's silver. And I tend to like all my equipment just to kind of blend in the tank and be as inconspicuous as possible. So I'd prefer that light to be black. It is silver, it's not a huge deal, but it's also been a really good light, a lot of nice color. In fact, for the Stingrays, for the price, I really like the color temperature. I like the spectrum that you're getting. I love the intensity, but they're going to be a little bit more expensive than the Beamsworks lights, which is more kind of a budget light. And so for instance, for the, Sting, for the uh, Phoenix Stingray 2, for a 12 inch light, you're looking at like $35. So it's almost twice the price of a beams work. The 24 inch is $57, the 48 inch is up to $72. So you're looking at almost twice the cost of beams work. Again, I personally think the Phoenix Stingray is the quality is a little bit nicer, 
The look on the tank is a little nicer. They're both gonna grow your low light plants. They're both gonna grow most of your medium light plants and both look great in an unplanted tank. But you really have to be the one to decide, is it worth twice the cost? For us, I really like these lights and in some cases I think they are. You may feel differently and that's why we're giving you lots of different options. So what if you've got plants that are a little bit harder to grow, maybe higher light, maybe you want some more features? Well, I think at this point now you're starting to look at maybe something like the Fluval 3.0. Aquarium Co-op sent us for about a year ago when we built out the 125 gallon double stand and those lights have been really awesome. Now you're gonna pay a little bit more for these lights. So for instance, for the Fluval 3.0s, they have a 15 inch, that's $140. You have a 24 inch at 150 and the 48 inch is going for $210 on aquariumcoop.com at the time of this video. Now, yes, they are significantly more expensive than the other lights we've mentioned so far, but you do get a lot of features. One, the light intensity. These lights can be very bright if you need them to be for your higher light plants. They are fully adjustable. You can adjust the spectrum. You can adjust the light intensity. You can adjust the timer. All of this stuff can be done, done through a phone app that I have found to be extremely easy to use through Bluetooth. They hook right in. They've been really good lights. They do have a nice slim profile, which is really nice. And again, I like the darker color. I uh, just like the beams work. So that's gonna really kind of not stand out on the top of your fish tank. But if you're looking for a high quality light, that's gonna pretty much grow anything that you would need and have a lot of features. They have cloudy light features. They have the, uh, the thunderstorm feature lots of features, really nice light, definitely worth checking out. So maybe you're looking for a different look to your tank, a little bit different than what we've talked about so far. The last thing, and that is the Kessel A160 WEs. Kessel actually supplied us with a couple of these lights a little while back, about seven months ago or so, to do some testing and evaluation. We have them on a 75 gallon tank, and they have been a very different look. They've added a very different look to our fish room. These are no doubt high-end lights. However, what you're getting for that is something different from the others. One, we're not talking about an LED strip light anymore. These lights are fully adjustable as well. You can fully adjust both the spectrum and the intensity. Super, super, super high quality light. You can sense that right from the minute that you put your hands on them and set them up. They are definitely a, a, a professional sort of light. Now, you're going to pay a lot of money for this. One, to do about 24 inches of fish tank, you're looking at around $300. So for the 75 gallon, we're looking somewhere in that six to $700, depending on the features that includes the light and the gooseneck stand. And they also have a spectral controller. Again, all this, we go into a lot more detail in the, in the description below when we do that video review. But these lights, what they do, is they give that shimmering effect to a fish tank. Now in our tank, it's a little bit more pronounced because we're using sponge filters. And so we're getting a lot more surface agitation. But if you were using a hang on back or maybe a canister filter, that would be a little bit more subdued. And I think it also comes through a little bit stronger on camera because in real life, the look is really, really cool. Now, if you're someone sensitive to all that flickering, that's maybe not something you'd wanna do. But again, in real life, it's not quite as intense as it looks when you're looking at it in person. But this is a great light. It's gonna grow any type of plant that you could possibly imagine. It's gonna give you that professional look, but you are going to pay for that. So again, the purpose of this video was one, let's consider what we need when we're choosing our aquarium lights. If you don't have a planted tank, you can go with those lower end lights and still get a really nice look. And even if you have a planted tank, something like a mid range light, like the Phoenix Stingray 2s would be good. If you're starting to get into something more advanced and you really want the ability to control the spectrum, the temperature, the intensity, those Fluval 3.0s, and if you really want that shimmering effect, now you're looking at the Kessel lights. But these are the lights that we use. And there are many other lights on the market, some of which we have in our fish room, but these are the main four that I feel comfortable given the amount of time that we've used them in recommending. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.